Hey guys, welcome back to the tutorials. Um, I haven't been online for quite a long time, and uh, the reason is because I've got a new job here and I've been working with the school and freelance works. So pretty much every single minute has been packed with jobs and everything. It's quite busy, and so I've got I haven't got any um, new content created and for this channel. Um, but I think in the near future we'll have more free time to make some more um, Blender tutorials regarding um, hand painted or uh, skills and Blender tricks and stuff like that. Uh, hopefully, in the future we can make more content, just you know, as much as possible to make the YouTube more activated. Okay. Um, so today's content we're going to talk about and edge padding so obviously I will believe that you guys do have some ideas about uh, texture pad padding and edge padding that type of things um, so what is edge padding so when a game engine renders a scene uh, it uses texture filtering to smooth to smooth render the texture and the process called downsampling okay so if the gut uh, if the gaps like here um, have colors uh, which is black uh, that are significantly different from the colors inside the shells and um, then the, those colors can bleed creating seams on the model so the same things happens when neighboring shells have different colors as the texture is downsampled eventually those colors start to mix together right so in substance painter or 3d code we do have these options um, to check um, create those automatically create those um, bleeding things for us for our textures but in blender we do have a few process to uh, to do to be able to achieve the same uh, result uh, but don't worry I'll show you how to achieve that um, step by step in blender okay so I've got this textures I created a few weeks ago and I will just use this as an example for my model and hopefully it's gonna make sense for you guys just in terms of those um, you know padding issues the same issues like in the textures okay so I have this open uh, I've have this model open in my scene and obviously I'm using these textures there with no paddings at all uh, on my model and obviously you can see uh, this black seems quite visible in the distance and you can see it here this black seam and as well as here the areas that's here as well here and here so um, we are going to um, create a new uh, UV layout and I'm going to bake the textures, the current textures onto a new UV layout and create those paddings. Okay? So if we just come up right here and go to the object data, this is right here, and you will find the UV maps right here. This is the map layer as well we're using right now and currently we only have one and we're going to create a new UV layout so this is going to be our uh, sword, uh, not our target so we're going to create, we're going to make this textures information from the UV map to UV map dot zero zero one okay so this is this is the source and this is the target so we're going to use this target and we're going to create a new textures for the target so let's go to the edit mode select every single face and go to the image I'm going to create a new image. So this is going to be character underscore padding. Okay. So we're going to create this texture for this character. And now this character is using this character's new padding um, uh, textures right here. So we're going to use. Uh, we're going to create a new content. Okay. Obviously, I'm going to do, you need this uh, material. Uh, we're going to create a new material. Just select on this character and create a new material cool so we come over right here and click here and create a new texture so this comes up very interesting we're going to go to the image and select the, uh, the character image that we have already have this texture and this texture's information is from the UV texture layout so come over right here go to the mapping switch this to um, the UV layers for the original layer uh, texture layers that's it. So we're going to use this texture's information and this UV layout. We're going to use two, two, two informations and bake those things 
onto our new UV layout, which is right here, UV map dot zero zero one. So the first thing I want to do here, I'm going right over here, and go to the render tab. Under the render tab, we can find the output, right? Uh, let's say uh, not output, sorry, bake. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do here, I'm gonna change the bake mode to uh, textures. Okay, click textures, and I'm gonna to turn on the margin. So right now, 16 pixels. I'm gonna turn this to maximum 64 pixels, and I'm gonna select all those images, okay, faces, and select to active, it, active, it, right. And now, if I click bake, and that should create the textures on our left side. So you see how those textures starting to bleed through and can't just like interact each other right now. So this texture is like there's no black areas like in the in the in this texture, and if we just zoom out our model. And there's no black seams anymore. So very easy and a very handful. Like I mean, I mean sometimes you just have to do more things to achieve the same result. I mean obviously I would say that Surface Painter is better than uh, Blender in some ways, but uh, um, you know Blender can do some things that you know it's free and it's uh, <laughs> something I really don't really want to complain. Something is free. Um, if it can does it can does the same thing if it can does the same thing okay All right that's pretty much it and hopefully you guys like it and if you guys want more content in the future just leave a comment and I will just try my best to create more content in the future if I'm free okay alright see ya